Hey, what's happening, everybody? I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. Got another 10 piece for y'all. But honestly, the run doesn't really start until turn 7 ish, around tier 4s become available. So I figured I'd talk about the world's greatest soap opera, which is the NBA. And some crazy stuff has been happening in the league. I don't know if y'all watch it, but. Kyrie Irving went to the Mavericks and Kevin Durant went to the Suns. Lots of things are happening. My Celtics got Mike Muscala. I don't know if he'll get minutes, but apparently he can like shoot threes or something. The Bucks got Jay Crowder. Honestly, it's just it's been crazy. It's like the most entertaining day of the NBA season. And honestly, it's just beginning. Today's the deadline, so a lot of moves are being made. But anyways, I'll, I'll talk about the game now. Got the Magpy going a little bit. Got the level 2 Stoke, so that's going to be fun to sell. We'll see what we sell it into. And the turn with 2 gold. I was thinking about going Gazelle, but probably a little bit too late for the Gazelle. And I still don't have the Hercules Beetle, so I'm like trying to go for it, but that's not really gonna stick. Get the level two African Penguin, so we're gonna have some attack, and we're actually gonna go with the Antelope. Sell the Hercules Beetle there, not really doing much. And I think, I, oh, I should have played the Avocado there, honestly. Save a Muskox and end the turn there. We're looking pretty all right, we got two wins so far, not bad. This uh, guinea fowl is going to put in some kind of work. No, it's not. We're going to win. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Get the level 2 muskox. We're in great shape. Got the, we're going to pass on the poison dart frog this time around. Doesn't really fit the team needs. And we already got the sniper squad. You know, that was last yesterday's episode. So if you missed it, pretty good squad we had. Went to round 20. Highly suggest you guys watch that video if you have it. And here is the start of the show. We get the Manta Ray on the Stoat. And I didn't really feel like going Manta Ray. Even though I have the Magpie, technically I could do it. But we're going to run the Antelope with the Vukita. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Maybe I'm making an ass of myself. But who cares. Uh, I'm going to save these waffles because I've got the level 2 African Penguin. Might as well utilize it a little bit before I sell it. And this guy is running emu in the middle. I don't know about that one. Usually you want to keep your emu in the back. But heck, what do I know? I drew there. So, gonna play the double waffle into the African penguin. We get the both the attacks onto our fire ant, which is huge. So, our team is kind of solid. We don't have much trumpet generation at, with a level 1 antelope at the moment. And we're actually not going to be able to use the Fukita's ability here. So we're going to take an L there. But that was our first L. We still got four hearts. So our team is has room to operate. We're going to grab a Bird of Paradise because I want to win. And I'm going to give my Antelope an Eggplant. Just to like mess up like any Grizzly Bear. Yeah, like that. Grizzly Bear in the back, you know make their life a little bit hellish even though we lost there down to three hearts we still have uh we still have some room to operate here but just rolling i don't really know what i'm rolling for i'll get the level two on the uh antelope here and highland cow is good very very good for trumpet generation i mean we got a level two vaquita might as well try to utilize uh the ability so i grab it here Sell the fire ant, not really doing much. And the magpie is also not long for this world, so I hope you haven't grown too attached to the magpie. Get 26 trumpets there, not bad at all, not too shabby. Not sure what the onion play was there for my opponent, but maybe he knows a tech that I don't know about. Sell the uh, magpie, get the cloister in, get that extra gold so our bird of paradise can do more for us get the level 2 bird of paradise I think here yeah 
grab another bird of paradise really good turn honestly all around and i think i played the yeah i'm not sure why i combined the bird of paradise is there probably should have kept them separate for a second but this is a huge gazelle am i able to pass this gazelle no i'm not we're down to two hearts it's looking spooky but the nurse shark as y'all know is one of the best new pets in the game this thing is ridiculously broken I'm gonna freeze a tomato tomato is also very good and between that and the vaquita and the highland cow the nurse shark is gonna put in a lot of work and maybe i should have put the nurse shark behind the vaquita but it's all right it I, honestly his composition made it so that happened anyway so we take those not the best tonight, probably should have gotten the Cobra, if anything. But we're gonna draw there, so no no reason to stress. Gonna grab the level three uh, antelope here. Gonna give our Highland Cow a tomato. Got another Brikita, got a chocolate bar. We are looking great. And I think I chocolate bar the Highland Cow next turn. Going up against the cartoony phantoms, but we are the bamboozled phantom, so we'll see who the better ghost is. And of course, y'all, it's me. Come on. Who are you playing with here? And we get a level 2 Highland Cow. And honestly, level 2 Highland Cow does the trick most of the time. We're going to play the Bird of Paradise because we have 3 gold. Might as well. And yeah, I think this is the final team. This is what we roll with. All we really need is just to get our guys some food perks. And we are good. We got a 50-50 Golden Retriever. So max level Golden Retriever. But he had a banana, so we draw not good but got tomatoes for the fellas potato and the avocado is tempting but i decided to roll to find more levels level three bird of paradise is huge so now i don't gotta really worry about buffing our guys we can focus on just getting the key to level three and giving everybody tomatoes for the most part <clears throat> level three uh, or level two uh, wolf is scary but we get the job done there Play the bird of paradise now we got level three we are looking good and do i grab a pretzel here i don't think i grab a pretzel here i never have or do i grab the pretzel oh wait i do because everything's tier four or higher honestly i'm never able to use the pretzel so that's like the first time i'm able to actually use the pretzel for its intended pur purpose and it felt good we're gonna blow this team out of the water. Not even close. Bucko didn't even get to our golden retriever. <laughs> Sad. Gonna play another pretzel there. Buff up our Highland Cow as much as possible so we can generate a ton of uh, trumpets. And now we got a tomato. So all we really need is a tomato for our Bird of Paradise and a tomato for our Brikita. And we're pretty good. And this team is pretty scary. This uh, Pteranodon with the Nyala. But. No problem, no issue. Our golden retriever that we summon, too powerful, 50-50, even after the nurse shark uses his ability. And I end the turn with three gold because I like to flex. The eggplant with our uh, antelope, put in the trick there, making the uh, grizzly bear not be in the back, and we win it there. Antelope, level three, and the Bikita guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. Also, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.